Hello again, everyone. I'm Cindy Williams. And I'm Rob Caldwell, in for Pat Callahan. We've all seen the images from states in the South that now admit they reopened too early. Thousands of people crammed onto beaches in parts of the country that are now seeing huge spikes in COVID-19 cases. Well, over the weekend, we received a number of pictures that sort of echo those images. Images like these, taken at Short Sands Beach in York. Looks very crowded. But are they telling the whole story? We sent New Center Maine's Jackie Mundry to two other more popular beaches to check things out. She's at one of them right now, Old Orchard Beach. Jackie? Hi, Cindy. Here at Old Orchard, it was pretty busy today. The crowds are kind of thinning out now, but a lot of people are social distancing in on the beach itself. They're pretty spread apart, about 10 feet each, each group, but about 25 miles south of here in Wells, they actually created a new position in the town. It's called a beach ambassador, and it helps people stay safe when they're soaking up the sun. Scenes like these are part of the reason why Beach Ambassador is the newest job title in Wells. But what we found was there was a gap in service actually on the beach. The Beach Ambassadors walk the sand and educate beach goers on how to stay safe while still soaking up the sun, including staying 10 feet away from others when you're on the beach and wearing a mask when you're walking around and when social distancing can't be done. They're not there to, um, you know, to rule with an iron fist. In Old Orchard, beachgoers are on their own. 14-year-olds Kayla Lumpkin and Clara Nascimento are visiting from New Hampshire. They say, well, it's uncomfortable to wear a mask. Yeah, like mm -hmm. I'm sweating right now. They're still trying to stay safe and say they're surprised at how many people here are not following CDC guidelines. I think it's easier to breathe out of a mask than a ventilator. Back in Wells, Captain Kevin Shabbat says these ambassadors are not there to create conflict. We've seen viral images of people getting upset about masks, and that's not our job. It's not our job to be confrontational. Instead, we want to educate the public as much as we can to keep everybody the safest we can. As far as masks go, it's not like officials want you to sit on the beach while you're social distancing from people with a mask on. But when you're up walking around, taking a walk on the beach or walking to and from your car, they urge you to wear a mask then. In Wells, five beach ambassadors have already started last two weeks and they're going to hire five more. Cindy.